Hey guys. Now, we've had reviews on this before and I've seen it myself to so try to get more information. But usually they just go through the specs, blah, 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 put yee yeah, yee, yeah, blee, 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 or we get a tear down, or somebody rips it, or somebody praises it. But I'm going to do, I bought one, and so now. Now, I bought this, and it's the Morris dryer. So I live in a camper, I live in a small fifth wheel, full time, and so here we go. All right, I just got it and I just plugged it up. Then it's great, it's a Hayden NG. But, inside, still, it's about far back it goes. And I know that this is, this is magnetic, so we'll clean off that. Well, at least I hope. Well, there we go. All right. Now, where I live at the campground, we have a washer and dryer and that's not at the main office, but the washing machine always gets messed up. The dryer messes up all the time because people keep putting bull crap stuff in it, like the freaking dog linens and stuff like that. So it kind of ticks me off. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Get this. I saw it. So I figured out why not. So now... We're going to do the important thing. We're going to do a real test on it. All right. I wear jeans and shirts to work and all that good stuff. The only thing they show you drying on it in the YouTube videos or whatever are small things. And I'm actually going to throw some pants in there and we'll see how long that takes. Okay. So follow me. All right, guys. Loads done. And this Black & Decker washing machine. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. All right, so pop this bad boy open and also I'm sure you guys, I don't know if you guys know or not, but see right there, it says the max. Now you and I both know that many of us are gonna look at that as a uh, suggestion. Not necessarily uh, what we're gonna actually do. So let's stuff this sucker full and see what happens. So, pull the first load. So, set it down, go up here. Estimating, estimating. And we're off. So, it estimated 90 minutes. So, let's check it out. Like I said, this is stuffed to the max, so we'll see. Alright guys, it says it's done, so let's check it out. They're still a little damp, and yeah, I mean, and that's okay. I mean, I figured as much because I overloaded it. But the socks are done, but some of the shirts are still a little damp. So I'll throw those in, and then, uh, then yeah, we'll do the uh, pants next. All right, quick note: it did about 25 minutes for uh, the remaining to dry, so that's not too bad. I'll just have to use a little bit smaller loads, but I was actually impressed. It got the underwear and the uh, clothes that are like the stretchy fabric, the breathable fabric. They uh, dried relatively quickly, but cottons uh, still have a little bit more moisture in them. So, all right, keep on going. All right, just a quick update before I go on to the, uh, the pants. Uh, they're dry. They're good to go. Everything's good to go. They're nice, fluffy, warm. So, moving on. All right, guys, this is what's gonna go in next. It's a pair of 5.11s, and it's like a cargo-type pant. 
So here we go. And I'm also, since it's just one article of clothing, I'm going to throw in a pair of uh, shorts. They're like a lighter fabric. So I'll put those in as well. Also, I forgot the doggone dryer sheet the other time. So let's put that in there as well. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, just as FYI, it kind of surprised me. It gave me 25 minutes for the uh, cargo pants and the shorts. So, okay, let's see. All right, guys. All right. So, after the 20 some odd minutes, I'm actually, okay. Feels like there's a little moisture in there. Yeah, there's moisture right there in the seams. All right, well, we're gonna put it back in and see what happens. So 25 minutes is a no-go for the cargo pants, but the shorts, shorts are dry. Shorts no problem. So let's keep going. All right, let's check it out. Just finished. And it is dry. Put that back in there. All right, it's dry. So next big test is denim. So we're gonna throw one pair of jeans in here. They're damp, just got them out of the washing machine. So we'll throw these in here and see how long it's going to take this denim to dry. So, ultimate test, guys. Beep, beep. All right, it says for the denim, it's going to take about 40 minutes. So, we'll check back at 40. All right. So, finished up. And, voila, I think it went through a little bit longer than what it normally would when it said initially. But, uh, they're dry. Uh, they're a little wrinkled, but, eh. Little iron can't get out with that, so not that big of a deal. Beats going in the laundromat. So, single people, um, that's pretty much all it's good for. Single people, even if you're camping full time but you have family with you, this can be kind of time consuming and difficult. I mean, it's convenient, but I'm happy with it because, once again, single guy, so it's no big deal for me. So, use this information however you will. Um, I personally think it was an okay purchase. It's not like super magnificent or anything, but uh, makes things a little bit easier and makes my life a little more convenient. So that's totally, that's worth it. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. All right, guys. Just as a quick little note on the end here. See this right here. This is where the exhaust is. I have my window out so I can get some of this heat out because it does blow out some really, really humid, like my fingers are getting wet, just feeling of that. And that's some lint that's coming out, but it's not a big deal for me because I can just rub it on my lint on my screen right here and it comes right off. But that's something to keep in mind. Um, and also I've been told and I did verify the moisture catch down here at the bottom. It does essentially nothing. But, yeah, that's the only thing else, guys. All right, hope you guys found this information useful. Have a good one.